Hi guys, Mike Roo here. This is my video on crystal shapeshifters with magic inside a personal Slayer dungeon. This is fully AFK, 9 mil GP an hour, and it's consistent because it goes by ALKS for the most part. Really, really awesome method. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show a budget setup and a high-end setup. I'm going to leave links in the description to every single one of these items with a link to the wiki page on it so you guys can copy the setup if you want to. So if you guys don't know what an item is, you can use the wiki link to help you. I will talk about a couple of the items though. I want to talk about the crystal armor and the dinosaur hide chaps. The dinosaur chaps are used in order to get your highest defensive stat be in range, which means the crystal shapeshifters will stay in melee and they'll crowd around you and you can AoE them down well. The crystal armor is hybrid, but it gives boosts. I'll talk about the crystal armor boosts in a sec, but in the budget setup, you want to use normal crystal armor. You can just buy it off of the GE. Then you want to use your best weapon, something like a knock staff, but again, like an obliteration or something would work as well. Take a luck of the dwarves, blood amulet of fury, all of that jazz. And inside your rune pouch, you want fire runes and death runes. This requires 99 slayer, soul split, ancients, and the light within quest. Obviously, light within is required for the crystal shapeshifters themselves. 99 slayer for the dungeon, etc. And penance aura is what makes this fully AFK. So that's the reason why I don't have any super restores or anything like that in my inventory. If you have penance going, you need no prayer at all. You get it all back from them hitting you. This makes it full AFK. Absolutely amazing. The optimal setup is the same as the budget setup. The only increases are the weapon. Inquisitor staff is best in slot here as they are melee. So it's going to deal a ton of damage there and be the equivalent to a tier 97. Obviously, you can upgrade your perks. So your budget perks will now be proper perks. And you want to use full attuned crystal, which you can buy with the Tardian crystals that you get from these. It will take about three hours of AFK in these to buy the full attuned crystal outfit. And I would recommend the attuned crystal outfit if you're going to camp these for a long time, as it is a lot better. It will pay for itself in the long run easily. And it just makes it a bit more safe for having more armor, etc. Less likely to die. The rest is the exact same. Again, there'll be links in the description to all of these items, so if there is something in the description that you don't know the look of, then feel free to check there. The reason why the crystal armor is so good is because it gives you these effects. The 5 set of the attuned crystal is not worth it, so you ignore that, and you get the 4 piece of the set. The main things that help you is the 2 set bonus. With normal crystal armor it gives 5% increased damage and with attuned crystal armor it gives 10% increased damage which is a lot more DPS. It also increases the amount of crystals dropped for each additional piece that you use which is huge because obviously you want to get as many crystals as possible as it's a big chunk of your GP an hour. And it also gives you a chance of activating Tardium Fury. It's a 4% chance rate to proc with the normal crystal armor and a 6% with the attuned crystal armor. It hits all surrounding opponents with damage, which obviously stacks with your soul split and increases your DPS and kills per hour, which is really nice. And it also removes bleeds and makes stuns ineffective for a short while after procking. And the amount of stuns you take from Crystal Shapeshifters is huge. So having this proc and stopping those stuns sometimes increases your damage and survivability so much. Without this, you're probably going to die. And that is why you use the Crystal Armor if you were wondering. And again, like I said, get the Attuned if you're going to be camping here for a long time because it'll pay for itself in the extra damage and extra proc chance of Tardin's Fury. Although if you are coming here for the first time, just buy the crystal armor off of the GE. As you can see, I purchased them off the GE and they're not too expensive. The whole set cost me about 1.3 mil and obviously you can use that until you get attuned and then just sell it back. One thing you'll need to do before killing them in your personal slayer dungeon is obviously go to uh, Tardiad, which is where you kill them to get their souls, right? In addition to killing them for their souls here, you want to go to where I have marked on the map and there is a person that you can toggle the aggressiveness of them with. You want to make them aggressive otherwise they will not attack you in your personal slayer dungeon. This is also where you purchase your attuned crystal armor or your normal crystal armor to Alk for profit. This is where you spend your crystals pretty much. 
Once you have your five souls, you want to go to your personal Slayer dungeon and use them in the small room. The most dangerous part is when you first go into the room, I would recommend popping your overload straight away and getting your enhanced Excalibur up. I have a couple of panic food in my inventory and it's mostly because of this, because at the start when all five are on you, it can hurt quite a lot. I didn't have to use any food this time, but I've had to use food in the past just to get situated. Once you're situated and you have everything up, you have your penance rolling and everything good to go, you are perfectly fine. You just have to loot every two minutes or so. This method is just absolutely insane. It's fully AFK with penance. It's 1.1 to 1.2 million magic experience an hour. A ton of money with a big chunk of it being alcohols, which really helps. The only thing that I want to stress is make sure your overload is up at all times. If your overload drops, you are going to die. These hit very hard and you need your overload active. This is why I use a potion reservoir to keep my overload ticking over. It will automatically renew your overload every time it gets low. You just need to remember that when your potion reservoir goes, you're going to need to activate a new one or you're going to die as well. But at least that gives 36 minutes of AFK before you have to use another potion reservoir. Just loot in every two minutes. When it comes to the loot of an hour without the attuned crystal armor, just a normal crystal armor, I got 7.5 mil in loot. I also got 1,600 crystals. So you want to purchase crystal armor with these Tardian crystals. As you can see here on screen, there is a wiki page on the crystals, which I'll leave in the description, that shows you which have the best value. Typically, the GE values for all of these items are completely wrong because the GE price is rather inaccurate and it's a very niche item, so it's easier just to ALK, honestly. It's way more consistent to ALK. You can sell some of them on the GE, but that would be risky, and I would advise just ALKing for the consistency. And the best one to ALK, as you can see, are the Helms. ALKing the Helms is 2,000 GP per crystal. So I got 1.6 thousand crystals, which would equate to 3.2 million GP. And that is consistent because it is the ALK value. Adding that to our price check takes it up to just under 11 mil, although I do use uh, just under 2 mil in supplies with the runes and the charges and the spring cleaner. So you're looking at profit of about 9 million GP an hour with normal crystal armor. Although I did do this with a tuned crystal armor as well and got even more money. This would equate to being about 10 mil in profit per hour. Because I got 1,700 crystals and more default loot, making it about 10 mil an hour if you take away those 2 mil costs running this method. So this method being 9 to 10 mil GP an hour, depending on your setup, is just absolutely absurd. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Give it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3. And as always, until next time, see ya.